Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am first up for UK Scrap Addicts today and we have a new theme as it's the first of the month and this month we are working on um, hidden journaling or hidden photos. So I am going to create this Traveller's Notebook page. So I started this Traveller's Notebook um, last year and I did it alongside my December daily, but I never quite finished the Traveller's Notebook. So I thought um, as it's now the festive season, I would crack this open um, and get a couple of layouts done in it to try and get this completely finished. So first of all, I'm working on this one here. So I've grabbed this paper. This is from the um, Snow Cool. I think it's a Dovecraft brand. And I just love this paper and I think it's super, super cute. So I thought I would cover one half of my um, notebook with this paper just adding in some double-sided tape as well and um, I had to think about how I wanted to have my journaling I went with journaling um, I had to think about how I wanted to hide my journaling now hiding journaling in a um, in a traveler's notebook is much easier than doing it on a scrapbook page because obviously on a scrapbook page it's in the page protectors um, and so I'd be interested to see what the rest of the team come up with this month for um, the theme of um, hidden stuff um, but yeah it's much easier to hide things on a traveler's notebook because obviously the pages are exposed so you can um, easily move things around so um, I'm just going to work on the right hand side of the page now and I've got this piece of chipboard that matches the paper um, it's a super thin chipboard um, so I'm not too worried about this bulking my album out because it's so thin um, and probably not much thicker than the puffy stickers anyway so um, then I grabbed these alphas that match the um, card so I've just used a um, journaling card from the Project Life app um, and added my uh, journaling at, on actually in the app and my title is going to be move over human um, and so this photograph here is from last Christmas and my my dog Bella she is a Labrador so she's not a small dog but she has um, always been a lap dog and if you tell her that she's too big um, and she can't sit on your lap then um, she doesn't believe you and she will still climb up and get on your lap anyway so last Christmas I grabbed this photograph we, I think we'd had dinner and we were just settling down and um, Bella was not happy to sit on her bed um, in my parents living room and so um, she climbed up my mum was sat in a single armchair and she climbed up onto the single armchair um, and sat on my mum's lap for her little snooze so um, I've titled this Move Over Human because that's what animals call us, right, isn't it, humans? And, um, yes, yeah, so all my journaling is on there and then my photo is just going to cover it. And my mechanism of having my journaling um, exposed, as it were, is to use a brad. So um, these old things that uh, were from many moons ago, um, brads, not used so much nowadays, um, but it's a great way to be able to attach the photo to the um, underside journaling um, and give me that uh, turning mechanism, that swivel mechanism to be able to expose the journaling underneath. And then I'm just going to stick down the, um, the, the journaling card to my layout. And then I decide that I want a little tab on the photo in order to remind me that, that, that there is something underneath. Um, and so I have one of these Avery tabs um, that just stick onto the side and I'm going to add a, a little stamp in the tab as well. This is just my American Crafts Christmassy one and I think I call it, um, I think it's a holiday tradition. I think that's the one I go with. Um, it's always a tradition for Bella to sit up on people and she should really be in her bed on the floor. Um, and then I just add that in. So that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, so thanks very much for joining me today. Be sure to check back um, during the month of December for um, plenty more inspiration from 
the other ladies don't forget there is a blog post that goes alongside this um and um we also have a facebook group as well so if you're not over at uk scrap addicts facebook group then be sure to join us over there oh and instagram so we've got all of the social medias um so go and do all the necessary follow like comment and um we'll see you again later this month with some more inspiration thanks very much and merry christmas